subs well 103 for now so I want to say thank you guys so much I was not expecting to get more subs as I haven't been uploading videos for like weeks by now the last the last video I uploaded was like one month ago right now and yeah sorry a lot of things happen over the weeks I've been sleeping so much I haven't so on so on but what, what, what it usually is so here I am I'm back so this time more videos are going away this time there'll be some more videos on the way so Let's get this started. Okay, so welcome to Doki Doki Literature Club. Where we stopped was we're, re we're reading the poems again, and I'm expecting that we're getting far to the bad stuff here. If you know what I'm talking about, which I don't remember what they were. <laughs> okay, let's do this. So we're with Monica first. Hi Demonia. I forgot my name was Demonia on this. Have you ever thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? I'll have to give it some more thoughts. Okay, no pressure. Whatever you do, I'm sure it will turn out great. It would also make me be happy to see. <laughs> I can't do it no more. I can't do it no more. I forgot. <laughs> uh, anyways, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. Let me like a take a poem holding in my hands. Da -da 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 -da. I like a pneumonia. Really? It's like cuter than I expected. Ha 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 ha. Uh, oh jeez. No, no. This kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would wrote. And she's a good writer too. So take that as a comment. Ha ha ha. If you say so. Yep. Any chance to hear anything by Shal Silverstein? I don't know if I heard that right. Eh? Maybe a long time ago. He's famous for telling all kinds of stories, just a few simple words. Their poems can be funny delivering or even sad, and sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're written for kids, but if you think about them, they can express views of the world that would apply to anybody. I see. So you're saying that Suki is kind of like that. Sorta. Of. Maybe she's not an expert. But you probably won't find much filler in their poems. Might be it's a rope, but they're super challenging to get the meaning though. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. Anyway, I'll ship my phone with me now, alright? Er, alright. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful day who has found every answer. All meaning, all purpose, and all of that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Blossom in the sky, victim of the curse of the wind. Day after day, I searched. I searched with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight, twilight sky? <laughs> Until one day the wind ceases to blow. I fall, and I fall, and I fall, and I fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and the forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before
before I can speak, she responds with a low voice. Hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we see only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat. I pick up a ghost of a uh, nice poem, I guess. <laughs> you know, I feel like learning lucky brands is all sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too fuscal or anything, but it was kind of on my, on my mind. So that's why I wrote about it. I see. I never really put much thought into it. Anyway, it's almost paradoxical. I pronounce that right. Because if we had all the answers, what would the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I've noticed. It seems like everyone at the club prefers running about things that are more sad than happy. Haha, <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to throw about, would we? Humans aren't two dimensional creatures. I think you know that better than anyone. You mean one dimensional? Ah, uh, yeah, that! Anyway. Here's my good tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your ride because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really discouraging to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who are enjoying writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or, or bad, they want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way. It will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like you're having your own little literature club. Don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Interesting advice. <laughs> now, Yuri. Uh, I don't know about Yuri. You have to go with Yuri. I guess. Well done, well done everyone, yeah? You'll definitely improve your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helping to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sugar iron like this. It's, it's a lot more fun and reward than I anticipated. I need to remember the theme work. I think we all felt a little awkward at first, but now it seems like everyone is enjoying the showing their writing and see what others think. I guess I can't really disagree. I was afraid this whole thing would be a chore. It's really great for me to spend some personal time with all the girls at the club. <laughs> but it's been fun <laughs> getting stuck on the writing. But I guess doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself this morning? Eh? Well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my opinions are just opinions. You know, as always, I believe what's more important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Eh? Why me? Well, you're also sick of sedated with your writing. And I have the most advice to share. Is that so? Da da da. Everything's very good, but it's... That must be terrible! Eh? For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome, how unlikely for me. Yuri? It's not as bad as you're making it sound in your head. That doesn't mean I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry. But I've always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked, you're a... What? What am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. You can share your poem now. Okay. Here. Oh my god. I can't read cursive! I am bad at reading cursive! Oh my god. What does school teach me? Beach? I think that says beach. A... Manville, millions of years in the making. Where's the womb of Earth? Cost claim. 
meets the surface. Wait, chaos meets the surface. Okay. Unearthly blue sky. It expands, expose, expands. I don't know. Of bliss, but beneath gray, lolling clouds and endless engine. The easiest world to get lost in. Good job, Lulu. You're in the video. Anyways, the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can be only built a sand castle where the sand is wet. But where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations? Will you give in? All of a sudden, waves send you crashing down in the blink of an eye. Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build the castles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, and my toes squish into the sand. The salt is exempt. The breeze is gentle, yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tipped by the tendrils. Turn back, and I abandon my peace to go back to the shoe. Drift forward, I return to the earth forevermore. Um, I'm aware that the peach is kind of an insane thing to worry about. I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. You say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, I took an eye. Well, it was. Assuming that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So it nicely wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I suppose better compare the differences of my rank cells or the processes. Processes. Anyway, it was an idea. Knowing her, I was no surprise that she wanted to do something like that. She really just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not. So it's not so bad to write something about simple on occasion. <laughs> Can be refreshing, you know. It's good for me to call my thoughts once for a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Now, Siori. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can't really tell you you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably not Suki. Eh? I didn't write this for anyone ex <laughs> suspiciously. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. Thanks, D. Really happy. You're happy too, right? It's close. Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Demonia. See you Is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> oh my god. I hate saying that. <laughs> Alright. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You, you can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay. <laughs> I lost. I lost my sense of doing that. Voice thing. The girl voice. I lost my sense of doing that. I can't do that anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Siori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? We'll see you tomorrow. Mark is saying you're actually walks up. Well then. That was weird. <laughs> she walked out. <laughs> she didn't shimmer a poem. Maybe she didn't write a poem. Ah, uh, yeah, she didn't. Look at Suki, my favorite character in the game. Finally! <laughs> I don't know why that was funny. 
That was not funny. I don't know why I did the laugh. <laughs> this one, it's good. I was wondering how long it would take you. All right. Yeah, seriously. Don't listen to what anyone else says. Especially Yuri. Just keep running pubs like this. That's all you need. Uh, are you sure that's not what you just... What you want? Excuse me? <laughs> You're talking about a pro, you know. Don't you think you should trust my opinion the most? Guess that depends. Are you based? Are you biased towards poems that are more simple and cute? Bias? Of course not. My opinion just happens to be the best. There's one thing I still can't tell. It's actually actually self-aware of our spoiled behavior. That's right. I don't know if I'll ever figure it out. Fair enough. I'm glad you don't. I'm glad that you like my poem after all. <laughs> I knew you finally understand. Just keep showing me your poems, and you'll be a pro before you know it. Anyway, here's the one I wrote. Okay, I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that dimensions you wander over the years. But today, I have a special place. A beach we must first go. A shore reaching beyond your sight. A sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I will be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought I have left a long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Beth, bath, and sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecure. Insecurity, insecurity, guys, in the salty sea, and let me see you shine. Let's leave memories in a footprint trail, set, set you free in a mind of sail, and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes you laugh. This is the same thing! This is. Oh, never mind. I forget I said that. But if you let me be by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice match for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. It's kind of hard to write something negative about the beach. Yeah, you know, you take some. Thanks, I was a little more. So, well, that's. Gee, she better not have said anything about. Bad about mine. After all, she was the one who wanted us to work about the same topic. Ugh, can you really see her doing that too? He gets right about a simple topic. You're trying to impress me by coming up with something that I won't fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess I might end up being kind of. But there's nothing wrong doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was a good practice. Oh, done. Okay, you three. Oh, that's right, Suri left. <laughs> I forgot. We're all Dutch sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out. Hold on a second. Is it just me? Or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something. It sounded a bit unusual. That's right. It's not even usual con catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yori is immune to it. He's using common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different that Siri is in here. Ah, uh, seems you're right. Uh, Siri always helps line the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone else bounces thrown off off little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought she was. I thought she just went to pee. Atsuki, please don't be so silly. Oh come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well. And went home hour early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously. Of all the times to not go home with her, 
You can pick the time she's not feeling well. So much for you to, to being all lovely Noby. That, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with you already. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today. So, I didn't want to force it. Oh. That kid is so much for me already. Of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her early and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway. Monica, you dare to avoid my question. <laughs> she avoided my question. And I don't like people that... I don't like people that avoid my question. Because that makes, that makes things suspicious. Anyway. Oh, I didn't read that. Damn it. Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Also, we'll be making cupcakes. And we might have to eat a lot of them. And this is flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Mitsuki? Challenge accepted. And as of myself, I'm going to be twisting and assembling all the poetry plans. Surely, you're helping me design them. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can. Uh, um. Gosh, guys, can we come on some Yuri? I. Useless. No, no, that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here. You know, I took his pony too. Jeez, you know, I can tell now. He also never gave Siri enough credit, but I can tell things I can hard on when she's not around. Ah, that be the case. But if I can't also be yelling on my own, they won't go worse person. So, Yuri, you have a bit of a hammering, you know. So you should make some banners and directions to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere! Excuse me. Yours expression slowly changes as you stare at her desk, and the focus starts nine to us. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You might want to follow Yuri. But anyway, they don't doubt just the like you, yeah? The one who is truly useless. I don't say that. In fact, I don't think you have something pretty heavy test to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You're always helping out as well. I would really appreciate that. Uh, that's... As much as it's just to you, I spend the whole weekend. Want to meet clubbers? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh... I suppose I wouldn't mind if it help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice. You should be sitting on your butt anyway. So he tries to mull out of excuses like that. Um, if I <laughs> Really? You must think you like to handle the baking on your own. Well, you may not like be around if you only make out the nonsense. So therefore, you may be more suited in assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're being with the to... What are you saying? That makes sure you make this work. The baking isn't. Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's start out for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to money to decide how long he likes. <laughs> and besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested. You really just said. Uh, I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just sell this already? Yeah. The way you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. <laughs> Very well. In that case, it will look shitty. Of course, I'm going with... Okay, the thing that's creeping me out is fucking Monica's eyes under that word, Natsuki. Look at that. Look at her eyes. You see her eyes? Ain't that creepy. Stop it! 
Well, should I? She's not feel. Uh, I'm going downstairs. Well, thinking sounds kind of be fun. You guys made it sound like a lot of work, so it could be probably be used to people. Don't worry, Big is a ton of fun. It will definitely agree. Yeah, just a minute ago, when you were saying that, that's because. Never mind, okay? Well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Joey? Of course. I'm used to it, after all. What? Now, with that look on your face, that, uh, that's good. Even though you're always being a little dramatic, it's a little hard to not feel bad. So, that's everything, right? Anything else we should need to talk about? No, I think that's it. You guys excited? Yes. Anything except the forms is going to be awesome. I don't think that really counts. But you, Demonia? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it turned out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulky. I'm starting to think too. It's not... I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not just be that. Question mark. I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little... Uncorporated in general? Wait, what does that mean? What? What does that mean? <laughs> I'll have to look it up. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering now. Oh, that's what it means. Okay. I understand now. That doesn't mean... You... So he closes his back and forth between everyone with a worried expression. Look! So he goes and puts her hands down on her shoulders. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here. And you're gonna help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too, but you're gonna make the atmosphere special. That will be really important for that way people feel during the performances. So, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. And his hands turned around the face in the other direction. You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, not really, but... She's looking up surprised. Why can I also take it back at those seven words? I'm so you of all people to be saying such encouraging things, but I can't understand. Like he was trying to sound like Sior. But even if it didn't work out perfectly, I could tell that she tried to say something Siori would say at this time like this. Being Siori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, I'm staying here a little bit longer. I really gotta do anything for you today. So, fair enough, there's nothing wrong with that. And it packs up the things. Our stuff to follow Monica and Yuri out of the door. They chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Eh? You still need to figure out how plans for this weekend. You literally would have gotten home and realized that you didn't have an, even have a way to contact me. Oh. That's true. I have no idea how that slipped in my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? Better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? Hmm. So you give me your number. Okay. Cutting a word on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait! You're coming to my house. Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I was helping. I would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like I could have a guy over my house. My dad would kill me. Really? It's kind of sucks if you ask me. Yeah, how do you think I feel? I can do anything when I'm dad is home. Anyway, I just needed to complain for a second. I know her stuff. I know about her dad. It's it's we each other's numbers now. That's all I need from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, fine by me. 
Yeah. I'm really gonna show you why. Oh, thank you so much. So you better look forward to it. Oh? Did you say you were going, just going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. I thought I could act like the foot of everyone. That I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is. So, alright, I get it. Sorry for reacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Uh, never mind. <laughs> okay. I can't believe this. I'm so just going to come to my house on Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling guards, as well telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this a chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it really too early for that? Only time will tell. But until then, I'll be able to take my mind off of it. I seriously can't wait. It's already Sunday. I've been getting usually exhausted about it's just coming a visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be here. Right? I'm sorry. But it doesn't have much. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We've seen each other as one of the exerting numbers to double check. But it turned into a conversation. She almost a little bit pressing on your phone, using tons of key emoji and cute language. She also really likes to play about things, but I just kind of saw that one coming. But putting that something aside, I never heard a thing from Sierra since she left the club earlier that day. It's not like we text each other all the time, I think. But I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Suri said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Suri's feelings aside when she can like, need me? I decide to visit Suri before night so he comes over. Rather than ask, I simply tell her I'm coming over, much like we've done in the past. Once I reach Sierra's house, I knock on the door for a date myself. Again, we just play so often that we have no doing each other's houses like we're family. House is quiet. Sierra is in my new world on the first floor, so so she's so very strange of her not done dying with me. I had to go to early if I don't know. Sierra? I don't know, yeah. I was scared for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I sit down in a room. Very first is my but it's easy to tell me that she's different. So we don't have silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Uh, I guess you're right. It's been a long time. That was what's really changed, hasn't it? She was supposed to get this for Okay, I'm gonna stop here for now. <laughs> I don't know if I wanna go too far. Should I continue? Uh, I'm thinking. What time is it? Nah, yeah, I'll continue. Sarah's room is as it has always been. I was recognized the same stuffed animals and wild decorations that she had over the years now. <laughs> if you came over more often, it would have been such a mess. That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How come you still ain't wanted to come over today? I mean, it's supposed to be simple cleaning today. Yeah, but... Wait, how did you know that? So we already left by the time you decided that last meeting. Well, I got told me. It's only natural to keep in form about the festival reputations, right? Yeah, that's true. What about you? Are you going to be helping Monica today? Of course! But I'm just... But I'm just going to be coming out online. We didn't plan to meet up on anything. Oh, so it's just me and us with you then. Yep. There's more stuff between us. So we just have the random directions. I think about our beer is really un characteristic characteristic. Uncharacteristic. Yeah. It's I finally get to the point. Just wanted to see how many you were doing after you left Friday. But something is wrong. You can't you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So so you smell That's no good in the morning. Eh? Why can't it just be like it's always me? This is all my fault. I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings. 
If I didn't make that stupid mistake, then you wouldn't have been warning me at all. You wouldn't have been coming. You wouldn't have been thinking about me right now. But this is just my question, isn't it? Being punished for being so selfish. Maybe that's why the world decided to have you come over today. It just wants to torture me. Hee <laughs> hee. Siori, aggressive about the soldiers. What on earth are you saying? Aren't you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so he gives me a big smile. You really put me in the trap, don't you? But you're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Siori? <laughs> you're really just going to make me sick. Because I have no shit system. The thing is, I really I've had like that depression my whole life. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days I can't even find a reason to get out of my bed. What reason is there to do anything with fully how worthless I am? Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy to the waste my time against spend the money? That's what it feels like. That's why I just want to make everyone happy. Because I didn't want to worry about me. I'm in shock. Can we figure out how to respond? How is it possible that Siori comes for me at the entire time that I've known her? She really wanted so badly to talk to her about her. Why Siori? Eh? Why is that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew I would have done anything, I could have supported you. Even if there's only so much that I can do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you that you have to waste effort caring about me instead of doing important things, I don't want you to care about that. It's better sweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice at times, but it also feels like a bat being swinging against my head. <laughs> That's why I want so bad of you to make friends with everyone else. I think I'm going to be happy to get this best thing for you. But then, I ask you about something else too. Seeing big friends get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spare going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided to walk away. It just wants to torture me. You've had to leave nothing for a <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Siori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, no, there's nothing, nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is that anything could have been like this already. Always was. But I was selfish. If I showed you what a horrible person I am, tears streamed to his face. Uh, I made you join the larger club because I was selfish. I was, and I was pushed my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just wicked and selfish. That's all I am. That's all I am. I'm going to accept these punishments because I deserve it. Without thinking, once again, grabs your shoulders. This time, for your little tiny number of years. Ah, come on, yeah. It's okay if you're selfish. I'm really happy that you accept you didn't join the club. Seeing you every day makes me worth it one enough. If I make friends with anyone else, then that's just being a bonus. But please never frustrate me how much I care about you. I wouldn't have any other way. Come on, yeah. So you can hide your back. So I'm always being wrapped around her, so I just remain at her side. I started something next to my ear. No, no, don't do this. To me. Please don't do this. Come on, yeah. Hi. Well, what is there to know I like you? If you haven't, you call yourself selfish. They have a lot of love being selfish, too. No matter what it takes. Figure out what needs to change. I'll make these things and feel like away. If there's anything you need me to do, then you better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Jelly just like puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand my feelings, no idea. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But I feel so warm. That's really scary too. Sure, let's go. As she does so, I let her go as well. Let's go tomorrow. 
Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. What would you like for me to spend time? All with you. Well, uh, it's not what I want. I promise. I, I think it would be nice. Yeah. So he brought his eyes. <laughs> if I could spend all the time day here, I would. Of all days, this has to be one where I have the proper plans. You yeah, actually can't. No, don't. Please don't. If you do that, then I would, would forgive you. But all this time has revealed me about in my house. Why at least? Please, do you want to come along and help? It would be fun. I'm not surprised. Sorry, just shakes head. I'm sorry. I don't know if I could be very good at me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. I'm trying to my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Alright. I'll look forward to it. It's a house on the way home. We found myself stuck there. It's hard for me to keep thinking about when the doctor is about to come over to. I think Zuri is right. Shouldn't be worrying too much. Or typically we'll be having a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on that. There she is. Okay. That's. I will stop. No, right, what are we talking about? That's right here. It's right there. All right, so. Oh my God, how long is this video gonna be? <sighs> so, here you go, Dougie Lee Adventure Club. I am like this so far, but so much reading. You know, I hate reading. I have to do it for you guys. <laughs> So, so, like if you like the video, comment, subscribe. I think we're getting pretty close to the bad stuff here, if you know what I'm talking about. But, and thank you for 100 subs. Thank you for watching. Ryan Yuman, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye.